Well. <laughs> and then how will you kind of balance the emotions of senior day with the job at hand to go out and try to capture the division? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely tough. It's a bittersweet thing. It's going to be the last game in, in Keenan. Um, and it's, it's definitely, I'm going to be very excited. I think I feel comfortable enough with my maturity that I'll be able to handle uh, that. If not anything, it'll probably give me a little more motivation and give me an extra edge. Um, just as I do now, it's, after this, is, this is my last game here. And uh, it's been been five years. It's been a great, been a great ride. So I want to go out and leave a, leave a legacy. You wearing a Coastal Division championship <laughs> sweatshirt from a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, you guys take care of business this weekend. Next weekend, you can get another one to wear. That will say 2015. Right. I mean, I think that one would be a lot better than this one. I'll probably put this one down for a while. <laughs> um, it's funny. That I, it's a complete coincidence, believe it or not. I mean, you don't have to believe it, but it was what was clean. And so I walked out and it started raining. It was, was like raining. I was like, ah, get back in. But, oh well. Where is that in the pecking order if it's what was clean? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, you know, I got to do a little bit more laundry. Uh, it's just, it's just for sitting in my closet, hanging out. So I was like, all right, we'll go with this one today. <laughs> um, so, Landon, if you are, uh, you know, continue on, you know, you'll be coastal division champ. So, um, so what's that feeling like to uh, be in this position right now? Yeah, you know, it's it's very exciting. Obviously, uh, we're all very happy to be there position that we're in, um, and, and I, I would like to say it was expected, you know, we hold high standards around here, uh, and, and it's not, it doesn't come to a surprise for us or for our team just because of the work that we put in and uh, just guys buying into the system. So it's definitely very exciting that we put ourselves in this position, uh, we, we should try to refocus and make sure we stay in the position that we're in, or at least on the trajectory. You guys don't need any added motivation because of what you have at hand that you can accomplish. However, the way you guys performed last year down at Miami, does that kind of add a little bit more spice to the motivation this week? Uh, it may for some. It, it, it hasn't much for me. Uh, and I say that just because it's in the past for me. And it was just 20, when Coach Dora said it too, but that, that's the 2014 team. Uh, this is the 2015 team. So I, I don't I've really gotten hung up in last year's results um, and for me like for me personally I'm it kind of overshadowed if anything by this being my last game in, in Keenan so you guys are mastering that that was 2014 this is 2015 but Marquise was saying the same thing <laughs> yeah, yeah I guess you hear it enough it's a, it's, yeah it's a thing we, we, you know <laughs> we, we emphasize it Chris always emphasizes since day one. So, but how how important has it been? I mean, just literally cutting the cord to last year the way he has, and he's been very consistent with us to the point where he almost laughs about it because he said it so often. Yeah. But it is but it is a real thing, though. Right, it is definitely a real thing. Uh, just all the uh, negative vibes, uh, just the negativity in general from last year. We, you know, I think he's emphasizing it because we just didn't want any of it to carry over and kind of poison the team in any way. I think team chemistry has been a big thing for us, and I think uh, it's been a, kind of a turn of tides for us as, as an entire team. So uh, I think that's why it's so important to kind of just cut any ties to that. Like we're, we're not that team anymore. You talked about uh, team chemistry being so important, especially along the offensive line. You can kind of see the last couple of games, the five guys on the offensive line kind of uh, really come together and, and they've been playing very well. Let's talk about the progression the guys have made uh, so far this year and then uh, obviously got the athletic Miami team coming in. So what are you guys looking for for that as uh, far as the guys are from? Uh, you know, for everyone up front, I'm really proud uh, of our offensive line this year. We're, we're, we're a hard working group. We take pride in that. Um, we like to think we're the hardest working group on the offense or on the team even. Uh, yeah, I see that in week by week when these guys are preparing. Uh, you know, I've seen the guy that we, we, we write, we have notes on the board, um, just as community notes. And, you know, typically, like when the season started, it was me and John, but I've seen a lot more guys, can, you know, contributing. And our guys are getting more comfortable and learning more about offense. Like, like mentally, they progressed and 
Uh, physically, we've had guys step up when the other guys got hurt. You know, John Ferrante stepped up uh, when Bentley went down, and and then Bentley came back and has been contributing. Uh, you know, which is tough to do coming back from an, from an injury. Uh, and, and just I could I could keep going on and on about all of our guys because we definitely they're just each week I see them get better and more comfortable because each week we're challenging ourselves. What do we when we watch film? What do we do wrong, and how can we make it better? As opposed to just settling, like oh, we, you know, we put up X amount of points or X amount of yards, we like arrived, but we have not had that uh, mindset, and I think it served the offensive line really well. How has Mark Lee's changed from the first game? He said maybe he was trying to do something different with his game, and have you noticed the change in the last couple of weeks? Uh, you know, I think he's getting really comfortable with himself. He's definitely a lot more confident on the field. Uh, yeah, I think. And that's that's really what it boils down to, um, you know. Just to sim just to simplify, he's just confidence has definitely been his key word. Uh, I see him get just more comfortable. He's he's more more. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, in my English major is trying to come out a little bit, but just confidence is just the best way to put it. <laughs> Can you tell when he's out there on the field, just a, a difference between the South Carolina game and how he was the other night, where he's just in command of everything? Yeah, I mean, that's, I think you said, I think you hit the nail on the head with just in command of everything. I think uh, he, he goes out there and he knows he's going to get the job done and, and he's not, he's kind of more fearless uh, and, and kind of carries that swagger out with him on the field and I think that served him really well. I don't know from an offensive lineman you can see, you know, all the long balls that were completed the other day and, and everything. But when you look at the film, or you saw it later on, or something, I mean, how good was he the other day? Uh, Marquis? Yeah. Uh, I think he was great. Uh, uh, I, I love all the yards he put up. And I like long balls because, you know, saves saves us some time and some energy on long drives. So offensive linemen love that. Uh, I, I did get to catch the one to Brandon Fritz, and I think that's the best ball I've ever seen Marquis throw. Uh, I was very impressed with it, and I was very impressed with his performance. I think that uh, it's one of his best ever, and I'm looking forward to him continuing that. Anybody else? You have to see, uh, sorry. Yeah. You got to see what? Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> you got to see Jonathan Russell, Geo Kareem, mm -hmm. down on the sideline. What does it mean when you have pro Tar Heels invested in, in you guys in 2015? Uh, you know, it means a, it means a lot, particularly for me, because you know I, I live uh, I live with those guys and play with those guys. So you know they're my brothers first, and NFL players second for me. Uh, and that 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 was for me was what was more important, uh, you know, especially Russell and Coop. Uh, and I used to live with Gio and, and, and used to hang out with Tim and Kareem all the time. So just just having those guys back and around, it, uh, especially being a fifth year, I felt kind of. Young again, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was definitely an exciting. It was an exciting atmosphere to be around and for them to share that with us. Yeah, you will. Thanks, man. See y'all.